Good afternoon YouTubers, good morning, good evening, wherever you are in the world. Thank you for tuning into my videos. Uh, welcome to Granny's Vids. Um, a few weeks ago I uploaded a video saying that I'm going to stop using my hydrogen unit because I don't have time to, to do the tests. Um, I, did, I haven't actually uh, taken it out of the car, I've left my hydrogen unit in the vehicle and I've been using it. Every time I've been using the car, I've been using the hydrogen. Some uh, interesting results I've had out of it. Um, my miles per gallon hasn't increased at all, it's gone down and down and down. I've not got any engine check lights on yet, um, but what's, what I can see of it is that my fuel trim, the long term fuel trim is actually being affected by this hydrogen because the um, complete burn it's given me is showing more oxygen in the O2 sensor output. The O2 sensor is telling the ECU to dump more fuel to make it up to the 14.7 to 1 ratio. So, um, I did some research on long-term fuel trims, and there's something you can do to vehicles. You can actually re uh, reset the trim by taking the battery off your car, or disconnecting it from the car for an hour, and, excuse the bus and train going by there, um, you can reset your re uh, long-term fuel trim by doing this, and you can start all over. Now, apparently, if you do that, you can get better results from your hydrogen. Um, obviously, eventually, the, the fuel trim will catch up with it again and will start giving you bad miles to gallon. Anyway, I've got some figures here I want to go through with you, and I want some feedback from you guys that have got hydrogen units in your vehicles. Um, this, is, this is what my battery kicks out when it's running with the hydrogen unit. I'm getting 13.8 volts going out into the unit. It's the voltage drop I'm getting. So if I put my voltmeter across the positive-negative terminals of my hydrogen unit, it's coming up at uh, 10.4 volts, which I'm getting a 3.4 volt drop, which is about 24%. Running the unit at 9 amps, which gives me about 93 watts power usage. Now, what I want to do, I want to get this um, voltage drop down a bit, uh, or say I want to get to about 12.42 volts, so therefore that would be about 10%. Um, I think I know why I'm getting a voltage drop, I'm getting that because my holes in my plates are too big. I've got them at 25mm diameter. Um, the plates themselves take away all the uh, gaskets. It's about 7 inches by 7 inches. So that's what I think is causing my voltage drop. But I would like from you guys, if you can give me some uh, information on this video, some feedback, some comments on what your voltage drops are across your units. Um, so I need, I need, at least I know what to go for then as a, as a goal. Um, yeah, so um, today what I'm going to do, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do this uh, disconnection of the battery for an hour or so, give it a run to see if I get an improvement on my, on my miles per gallon. Um, that will be my next part of the video. Okay, I've um, disconnected the battery for half an hour. Um, I've just reconnected it again and um, I'm going to take it for a car for a drive now to see what sort of results I'm going to get. I'll turn the camera off for now because I don't want to be caught driving whilst filming. So see you in a minute guys. Okay guys, I've had some good figures here. Uh, I've just done 6.9 mile trip, up and down hills in various places around where I live. Um, I've just covered, uh, there you go, 23.2 miles average miles per gallon. Um, and that was 6.9 miles. Uh, running my amps at uh, say about 10, 10 amps. That's the best I've had in a long, long time. Well, before I even uh, put the hydrogen in my vehicle. I am really am pleased with these results here. Yeah, it's going down a little bit by one pot by one digit each because I'm standing still now. But um, 23 miles to the gallon that is around my village, and it stops starting. A nice car normally gives me about 17, 18 miles to the gallon. Um, okay, so what I did was is I um, let's turn the engine off now. Actually, I uh, I um, just, just, I, I basically I took the battery off the car for uh, around about. Um, um, half an hour, and I touched the uh, the, the terminals of, of my car terminals together to short out a little bit. Brake on the pedal, ignition on. Obviously, there's no power in the battery, so there was no problem with that. So it just uh, drained all the capacitors out. Um, I'm really excited now. I'm really really excited. I got some results. Uh, it's, it's doing it's doing something for me. This hydrogen is now. Um, I love to see what it does to the motorway. As you know, I think from my previous video, I've got, what, 34 miles to the gallon with no hydrogen. So what I might do tomorrow, I'm going to take that same drive with the hydrogen on down the same down the same road tomorrow and just see what I get. So, to disconnect to the battery from, the, from your car does work with hydrogen. I don't know how long it'll last. It might last for a week, a month, I don't know. 
but I'm going to keep an eye on the old mileage. Uh, thanks for watching, guys. This is good news. Take care. Hi again. Uh, just one more thing. Um, th this uh, trip I made just now. Um, one thing I did also notice is when I went up my hill where I live, it's a quite a steep hill. Um, normally I only get about, with the hydrogen on, like yesterday, I'd have about seven miles to the gallon because it's quite a steep hill. Uh, that, that's why I've gone up there. Today I got 12 miles to the gallon go up, this, up this hill. Phenomenal. Phenomenal figures these are. Um, really excited. I just thought I'd just tell you that as well, by the way. Um, thanks for watching this video, by the way, and I'll speak to you soon. Take care.